Welcome back to another beautiful episode of 9 4 Fishing. We're out here at the Palm Valley Boat Ramp doing some intercoastal fishing today, as you can see behind me. High tide is right now. We are going to be trolling some jerk baits and doing some live fishing with some shrimp. So hopefully we're able to get out there. I got a long paddle ahead of me. We're going to be able to hook up into some big fish. Stay tuned. All right, to start off the morning, I'm going to be trolling this Rapala jerk shad behind me. I've got a wide variety of bait. It's going to be my bait of choice for this morning, or at least until I get to where I want to go. Got two dozen live shrimp with me as well. We're just going to start paddling out here. We got a pretty long trek to where we need to go. Hoping I get something on that jerk shad trolling behind me. So I got this little float right here. I got some shrimp. Trying to get away from here. We're just going to hook them, as you guys can see that, we're going to hook them right through the head. Still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Fantastic. Alright, we're just going to be fishing this around the weeds here. That's out. We're gonna be throwing this jerk shad. Oh, something's already taken this. First bite. Oh, all right. Well, apparently, I need to pay this a little more attention. Something already took that. Alright, so now I've tied on a little jig head, swimming mullet. Let's see if I can't produce anything. Alright, we're hooked up. We got a nice one. Still got him. Oh yeah, still got him. Oh, he choked it. This one might be legal. Look at that. Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna be legal. All right, all right, okay, all right, okay. <laughs> Messing up my tape measure too. So this is a special fish, not only because this is my first keeper trout of the morning, but this is my first ever keeper trout. Look at that fang, ridiculous. All right, he's, uh, he's going home for dinner. We are out here at the intercoastal right now. I've still got my rods out, as you guys can see. Um, just absolutely gorgeous day to be out on the water, but I want to show you guys my beautiful sea trout in full glory. Look at the colors on that guy. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous fish. First ever spotted sea trout that I've been able to uh, keep. I mean, just spots all over it. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, fish, for your life. You're gonna be a delicious dinner. Oh yeah, I got something on the bottom. Nice, 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 nice. Come on. Hoping for a flounder. Oh, come on. What you got, what you got? Yes, a little, not what I wanted to get. <laughs> All right, well, definitely not what I wanted. Definitely not the fish I wanted. I thought this was a flounder, dang it. I just had a live shrimp sitting there on the bottom. But uh, third fish of the day, definitely not what I wanted. But a little spot, haven't caught one of these in a hot minute. But uh, yeah, we're going to let this guy go. So to kind of put in perspective what I'm doing here, we've got all this water flowing out of this um, little 
I don't know, a little creek back here, as you guys can see. So we've got all this water flowing out of this creek. So I've got a bottom rig in the middle of that, just off to the right, um, or middle of that, just off to the right. I've got a bottom rig just off to the right of that with a live shrimp on it. That's why I just got that spot on. And then I'm fishing the gulp uh, swimming mullet on the jig head, and I'm just kind of casting that across and then laterally as well, pulling back against it, see if I can get some trout, various other species. All right, nice little red, another one. Tossing him back. Again, I've got the trout and I've got the redfish. I just need the flounder and I got a freaking slam. Nice red. All right, come here. That one's actually approaching keeper size. Another nice red fish. He is 15. Not legal. Yeah, I'm gonna let this guy go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of 904 Fishing. It was an excellent day out on the water. Caught a lot of fish, caught a lot of species, a lot of fun. Uh, definitely going to be getting out more onto the intercoastal, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys again for sticking through this to the end. See you guys next time.